Hey, hey guys, as always, Mr. ATC for No Zandi of Housing. So I guess that you remember in the last video, I told you we're gonna create this week something very cool and you shouldn't miss out on this one, right? Then here we are. As you could already see in the previous video, today's project is going to be a nice XL pallet shelf that can be placed in the corridor, in the living room, or even in the bedroom. We will be adding a free interactive plan via this link in case you would like to try it in your home. I was actually thinking to make a project like this one for a few months and luckily one of my friends came to me mentioning a project pretty much like the one I had in mind. So I told them, you know what? Maybe it's a good time to give it a try. And by the way, last week we've noticed a very nice pallet project from David in France who've created a very nice pallet couch in his living room only using pallet wood and we find it pretty cool to share with you. If you would like to check it out and ask him questions, feel free to go to the link we are adding just above here for you. Alright, enough talking, let's create this extra large pallet shelf. And here are the two pallets that will help us to create this shelf. Note that in order to have the best result, the best will be to use two pallets with the same dimension, so at the end, you won't have too much sanding to do. To start working with them, I'm here placing them both in a horizontal position to have a first visual on how to move forward. And of course, if you can have someone to help you to lift them up, that will be the best. Because depending on where you're living, which country, they can be very heavy. And for the cut, I've decided to place them here both flat to the ground and next to each other. In order to have enough flexibility, I will be using my jigsaw for the cut and removing only the slat that I'm showing you here, also making sure to cut as much as close to the border of the gap. Alright, let's start cutting! And please, note that when you are making yours, remember to keep the slats that you previously cut because you will need them later in order to create the different shelves. Oh oh, oops, I went a little bit too fast because I shouldn't cut the slat in the middle, but hopefully I wasn't done yet. Alright, let's move on. Alright, and here we are with all the pieces cut and to be used later as shelves. So now I'm going to pick up each of them and put back the pallets in the initial horizontal position. Alright, so now that I have all the slats ready, I'm checking if I can still use them as shelves and place them in the pallet gaps. Keep in mind that if some of the slats are too small or not long enough, which could for sure happen, the alternative to that will be to use some metallic angle brackets. Like here for example. I 
After checking the slats, now it's time for me to do some sanding. Because as you can imagine, those palettes has been outside a few days, so the best before doing anything else will be to sand them both as much as possible. And as you can see it here, it's quite a lot of sanding. Then after the sanding, I've decided to use my router with the chamfer bit to round up a little bit the edges and make sure they doesn't stay too sharp when touching them. And again, a little bit more sanding using first my small strip sander but also, just after that, my regular belt sander. As you can imagine, with that much sanding, I also have a lot of cleaning after that. So if you do it, I would advise you to get a vacuum cleaner very close by. Or even better than that, if you can connect it to your sander, just do it. And of course, at the end of the sanding stage, I have just decided to use some regular sandpaper for the small corners. Then to remove some dust, I'm here using some air pressure all around the pallets. And as we all know, you know, the best neutral color is white. So in order to match with the walls in this house, I'm painting everything in white. And while everything is drying out, I've decided to move to my planner in order to reduce a little bit the thickness of the slats and also clean them at the same time. And what I really like with each planner is the fact that you can easily clean the surface of each piece of wood. It's so easy that that's the one I'm using all the time. <laughs> then, in order to act like the top shelf, I also broke the piece of plexiglass that I will be cutting in order to end up with the same dimension than the pallets. And of course, I will first clamp it to my favorite workbench and start the cutting using my plunge saw. And now that we have the plexiglass cut, I will be looking in a solution to put on each side maybe a piece of wood or something else in order to close up the gap. To be honest with you, at this stage, the easiest solution was a piece of wood, but I was still thinking about it. But even though, I've decided to give it a try. Because one of my goals here was to be able to easily remove the pexiglass in the middle. So I've decided to first try with some piece of scrap wood I had in my shop and take the measurements in order to move to my meter saw to make the cut. Then when I'm done with the meter saw, back to the shelf in order to try it out. I 
and to be able to easily slide underneath the piece of pexi glass, I will be here using my router to create two gaps on each slab. But of course, before that, I've decided to again round up the edges. Then changing my beat in order to create the opening that will allow me to slide the piece of plexiglass underneath. And here we are, with finally the gap created in order to easily slide them over. Then a little bit of painting in order to match with the rest of the design. Then now putting in place the palettes in order to start inserting the different shelves. And as I was telling you at the beginning of this video, if they are too small, feel free to use some angle brackets in order to fix them in place. And as you can imagine, of course, at the beginning they won't go very easily, so you will have to use your armor in order to put them right in place. And for your safety, don't hesitate to put them on the ground in order to fix the shelf. Adding the bottom ones, I've realized that I will have to remove this part here on both sides. I won't be really showing it to you, but in case you have the same situation here, you know what to do. And to close the gaps around the different slats, I was using here some wood in fuller. And you know, I'm trying the piece of wood again and again because I'm not really convinced about them. To be honest with you. But in the meantime, I was still looking at a way to fix both palettes together. And here I think the best way will be to add some screws from the bottom. I have to say it looks quite nice already, but the two pieces of wood on the side I'm trying to look at a way to change them. But while I'm thinking about it, I realized that the painting wasn't so good at the bottom. So in order to fix the problem, I've decided to spray a quick layer of spray lacquer on top, then over that, adding some right paint. And you know what the funny thing is? While I was doing the painting, I found a solution in order to replace the piece of wood on each side. It's actually very easy. I will just have to use the pexiglass left over and use them to create two pieces with the same dimensions, which will recreate the side and also complete the design. Then I will be again using my plunge saw for the cut. So when the cut was done, one of my goal here was to make sure that the borders are not too sharp. So I'm here using again my chamfer bit to one more time round up the edges. And remember that if you're making it for yourself, Remember to don't scratch too much the pexiglass, so you can use it after that. 
And now that the three pieces of plexiglass are ready, time to look at their placement on the pallets. And now let me take a quick break to talk about the program making this show and the entire platform possible. The One Reservation, One Reprinted program. This program is one of a kind and without any added cost for you to take part of it. So let's say you are traveling a lot or having some weekend trip. With the help of this program, you can find hotel, flights, car rentals, or even holiday homes. And all this would really support our weekly refurbished and recycled projects by making your next booking or reservation via this program. Our goal here is to create something, once again, very simple, free of charge, and where everyone can support those three printing programs taking place in different continents, like South Asia, Africa, or even South America. We'll be adding, as always, the links for you below in the video description. And of course, we are counting on you to join us in this fight against global warming. And if you didn't know about it, here is a quick overview about the program. The One Reservation Equals One Tree Planted program. With it, you can find hotels all around the world. Also, flights booking to move like a bird and car rentals to go faster wherever you want. Or even holiday homes to relax in nature. And much, much more to come with no extra cost. Guess what? I've already booked with the One Reservation Equals One Tree Planet program. What about you? Join us at www.atc-c.com for the One Reservation Equals One Tree Planet program with ATC so that together we can make a difference for the environment. Okay, so now that we have everything ready, time to move inside the house and put them in place. So now that we are inside the house, what I will do here is to make sure to join together the two pallets. And to do so, I will be just using some screws and inserting them from the bottom. And on the top side, you will just have to screw from the back so it won't be visible when you're looking in front. Then trying one other time the piece of plexiglass. Then after that, I'm moving to the place where I'm supposed to fix it. And as you can see, it's a simple corridor. In order to add something very special to this design, I will be adding on top a mirror. So here, I'm looking at the right level in order to place it. And one of the nice things with this level is the fact that you can use it in order to make your holes because it has inside a dust collector. It's a very cool thing to use when you want to keep the dust so you don't have to clean after that especially when you are not in your own place. And everything is looking quite well. And it looks like we have the correct level here. So just need to fix the top screws and we are done. Now that everything is fixed for the mirror, it's time for me to look at a way to fix the different brackets in order to attach the pallets. Note that you will need to use some very solid brackets. The one I'm using here are measuring 5 to 5 cm. And underneath the pallet, 
I will advise you to leave between 15 of 20 cm. So it will again give this design a very nice floating effect. In order to make sure that the pallets are really fixed to the wall, I will be also using some long screws to fix them to the wall. Then moving after that under the pallets with small screws in order to fix them to the wall. Of course using the metallic brackets. Remember I told you that I'm gonna use two pieces of plexiglass on each side? But so far I didn't know how to fix them. So here I've decided to create two holes in order to make sure they stay fixed on those pallets. Then after that, inserting some screws and a plastic plug on top of them. And the cool thing with this design is the fact that you can remove the middle part in order to use it to insert some umbrellas, some bags, whatever you want. And you just have to put it back when you're done with it. And now finally the final touch with the LED strips which should give this design a very nice lighting effect. So now imagine that you're entering your house and seeing a beautiful design like this one. Not very expensive, nice, simple and recycled. What else to ask for? Alright guys, I hope that you liked it. And sorry, I forgot to tell you that this one is a pretty long one. But for this type of project, it's very important for me to show you every step so you can, if you decide to do it, see exactly how I'm reaching the final result. And once again, as some of you may know, I'm not the only one from our community making beautiful creations at home. So feel free to check out what the other guys are doing in the ATC app. And don't forget to download our mobile app so you can see what everyone is creating in order to make their home even brighter than before. As always, Mr. ATC for another idea of housing. If you are new to our community, feel free to subscribe just here and join us and share some of your project if you want to. And I'll see you next week. Bye.